This is my breakfast this morning. I have two fried eggs. Looks like about six raspberries. And I have, uh, 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 what do you call them, franks or wiener cut in half. And I have this that I'm, I'm going to munch on this too. This is some pizza, um, crustless pizza, and then uh, another um, chicken wing that I have there. So I'm going to add this in. It's going to give me more protein this morning. There's my meal. So I have two fried eggs, some raspberries, um, wiener split in half, um, chicken wing, naked chicken wing, and then the rest of a crustless pizza, a piece. And that's what I'm breaking my fast with today. Now, this may end up being almost like a one meal a day. But I'm going to see um, where I'm lacking and then add that in later. Because if my protein is too low today, I am going to boost that up. So, y'all, this is a quick grocery haul. I went to the store. And I'm just going to show you some of the things that I got that were keto friendly. And then I'm going to show you the things that are added in that are not keto friendly that I kind of have to battle those right there are really hard for me to not eat something that I'm concentrating on because they're going to keep having them here okay so I got this, just this little container of garlic and I'm mainly going to use this for cooking for seasoning that type of thing yellow mustard I use a lot of yellow mustard mainly because it has no calories it has no carbs, it has no protein. And I use that a lot on my protein sparing modified fasting days. Here is some no sugar added tomato ketchup. I don't use a lot of ketchup, but I did want to have some because I'm going to make myself another meatloaf. And when I do make a meatloaf or anything, I do like to get the no sugar added to use. I also got me some Kobe Jack cheese. And I like the Kobe Jack cheese, you all. Um, let me see. As far as calories, it is... Quarter cup is 110 calories. It only has one gram carbohydrate in there. Six grams of protein and eight grams of fat. Now, on my protein spray modified fasting day, I would have a little bit of cheese um, because it is a protein. So I choose just to have a little bit of Kobe Jack cheese sometimes on those days. Here I have um, heavy whipping cream. And I just got some regular uh, heavy whipping cream. But I use this a lot in my cooking. And in my coffee, you can see it's 50 calories for one tablespoon. Carbs is less than one gram carb uh, per tablespoon. No protein, and the fat is five grams of fat. I got some frozen broccoli florets. And a lot of times, the frozen vegetables really come in handy as far as cooking dinner. I can just grab a bag, open it, combine it with something, and turn it into a really good dish. I got some tri-tip steak um, this evening from my husband. He wanted steak. So I'm going to make some tri tip steak and I'm going to make uh, extra and put in the refrigerator for part of my meal prep. This I'll be able to use on both my keto and my protein sparing modified fasting days, my meat. I got cream cheese. Dairy doesn't bother me like it does some others. Um, so I tend to eat dairy and, and, and it's okay. Uh, so I have cream cheese that way I can make me some gravies, I can make pancakes, a lot of dishes you can make out of the gravies. I got some Jimmy Dean sausage because I have some ground beef that I've already gotten. I'm going to make some keto chili. And I have that in the refrigerator along with the rotel and everything else. And when I get ready to make that, I will show you. I've made a, a video before of me making the keto chili, but I want to have some more. I think about a year or two years ago. Here I have some green leaf um, lettuce. This is for my hamburgers and for my... Um, tacos or anything that I might want to wrap. I'm going to be using uh, lettuce leaves mainly this week. I'm going to go ahead and make me some of the protein spray modified fasting bread in just a little bit so I can have that available. 
here I have uh, my avocados, and then I got me just some of the regular Miracle Whip um, mayonnaise. And now normally, you know, you'll see me with the Primal uh, Kitchen avocado uh, mayonnaise, and you'll see me with the Primal Kitchen, um, what is that, uh, ketchup and different things, but when I can't afford it, and I'm on a certain budget, these items work just as well. Okay, just a minute, let me finish this. Here I have my organic white mushrooms, and I like to eat mushrooms a lot, especially in the mornings for breakfast, or put them in my gravies and cook them with my meats. This right here, the seasoning blend, this is going to go into my chili when I make it. And I just use this for seasoning, and it, it really saves as far as cutting up things like onions, celery, peppers, and everything, just to get it already diced. So this is a quick grocery haul that I have here. You can see the peanut butter cookies. Um, there are, are little snack bites of stuff that are sitting around. I have my Diet Pepsi. Um, but this is just my quick grocery haul. And these are just some foods that I'm going to be using this week in my meal prep. I'm getting ready to start on my meal prep probably in about the next half hour. And I'll show you some of the things that I'm going to make to put in the refrigerator this week. We got the Tostitos, we got the Little Bites, we got ramen noodles, we got Nutri-Grain, we got the chips. So these are just some of the extra things that are sitting around. We have a lot of things that are stuck in the cabinets, juices and different stuff. So I really have to put on my willpower to get through this. I'm getting ready to make some tri-tip steak. Uh, my husband wants steak this evening, so I'm going to make this, and I'm also preparing some for part of my meal prep this week. I didn't get a big, big steak, and this is probably enough for me two or three servings. So I'm using my Instant Pot um, to saute this, and I'm just going to cook it in the Instant Pot after I'm done. So I'm just sauteing each side for now. And I'm going to go ahead and add my seasoning and everything in also while I'm doing this. As I say, it's always good to prepare something in bulk um, for a meal prep and have in the refrigerator. Choose a meat that you like or, you know, protein that you like. Um, cook it and have it just readily available. You don't have to make anything fancy. Remember, you want to keep it simple and eat things that you like. Eat things, foods that you're used to eating. Uh, most of the time, a lot of these foods just have to be cooked differently in order for them to fit into your diet plan. And that's saying use different cooking oils. You don't want to use vegetable oil. Use something like avocado oil or coconut oil. Um, what I'm using here is uh, coconut oil in order to saute my meat. So you can find some good oils uh, to cook in where you won't get inflammation and different things like that in your body. Start adding in my seasonings. I'm going to start by adding in some garlic first. I'm going to add about a teaspoon now you add how much garlic or seasonings that you like. You season to your taste when you're cooking your food. I'm gonna add in salt and pepper and some other things also. So I'm making dinner, but my daughter is making something called Rotel, and that looks like nachos to me, and I want some. So what I did was make a trip down the street to the store because I know they have protein chips. Now these are keto friendly, you guys. I'm doing total carbs, and what I remember is the total carbohydrates on here is only five grams, with a dietary fiber of one gram, but I don't do net carbs. Amount per serving is 140 calories, and like I said, um, fats, 6 grams, and protein, 18 grams. So, I know I said stay away from 
prepackaged keto foods. But this is one that I want to share and that I did go to the grocery store and get because I want some nachos instead of what I'm cooking. So I'm going to put the food that I have. My husband is going to have that because he doesn't really like nachos. And I'm going to have some of these nachos that she's making because I've looked at everything that she's put in there and it is keto friendly. However, I don't just want to eat it uh, like on a bowl. Don't these nachos look delicious? I even added a little bit of sour cream and just a little bit of salsa to top mine off and about a tablespoon of jalapeno peppers. I am going to enjoy this. I haven't had nachos in such a long, long time. This is my husband's meal. It was so delicious also. The tri-tip steak I made along with some mushrooms and some other things added in to make a little gravy broth. And I found some cheddar broccoli bake. Really, really good. It was broccoli topped with cheddar parmesan sauce and panko bread crust. 